hi guys welcome back today we will learn about for loop this is our third and final loop so uh, before we start uh, for loop uh, uh, let's recap little bit first we studied uh, while loop then repeat loop and now we are going to start a for loop okay so same as previous projects i have three button set byte set word and here instead of uh, d uh, set d word uh, i'm going to do something little creative so uh, so help you to learn a little bit more okay so let's started so for loop is start for i is equal to let's say dollar zero zero we want to start from zero zero two so this is four two okay so this is instruction let's say we want to go dollar one f okay this is address we give address okay so this is will be two so three uh, things four two do it means this is uh, the here the next uh, instruction start after that okay so we will say like uh, set byte x so i is equal to i plus one so if after we set we want to refresh our hex edit okay so let's run this one and see the result so what we wanted we wanted to write whatever the value we provided from 00, 0 address to f1 okay so set you see here the value is written uh, let's go back and write other so again for i is equal to let's say we start want to start from 4e okay so this is a little bit different so like for loop is uh, like similar to while loop uh, but it have a different set of instruction which it make distinct from the while loop like uh, like you see here so like this statement which we written is similar to while but here what we are going to do is a little bit different from while loop okay which is which is make it different from while loop it's called dom two and number two f do then begin and then end okay so what we did it we say this is our maximum address and this time we want to go backward not like from one two three four but what we do we give him the highest address from the highest address we want to go back to this address 2f means this is going backward instead of uh, forward so let's write it here so set uh, let's word x edit i let's say give him same value what we did before ffdd and then swap order is true okay and then okay so as this one is going back so we want it this uh, because i if we press control shift space bar so i is our offset so we want it so uh, this point to the right uh, position in the uh, this hex table okay so so i is equal to i minus one okay okay so here mostly when we was writing the while loop we did uh, two here not one why we are doing it here one because see this is the highest address and this is going backward to here so it's mean if i is right now is 4e 
okay so a, if this instruction is uh, done run already okay so then it's it's mean for uh, it will be like uh, for d okay but we want it for c so uh, we don't want to reduce by 2 we want to reduce only by 1 because it's already reduced it reduced already one i hope you understand but if you pr do a practice you, then you will understand it okay uh, okay let me write it here a description also not to be bc because loop decrease one from i each in install okay so this is like uh, we what is like a commit for us to understand what's happening here so i will close our statement and then again don't forget to refresh hex edit so whatever the changes we did it we want to put it here okay so you you can write it here too let's let's say for you for your understanding i put it to here i will t uh, tell you what's happening here let's go back and no this time the instruction will be run this way backward okay instead of forward it will go backward okay you see here uh, you see here it's it, it miss because because we uh, decremental uh, our uh, i by 2 not by 1 because 1 is uh, done by the uh, loop itself and the sankard uh, we must need to provide only one not to it that's why I, uh, the time when I'm writing one so that is the whole reason here okay I hope you understand okay and, that, and no, if we run it now and now you see it's right it perfectly as we want it let's go back and so here I have three variable so str is a string ix is integer okay so um, I thought let's do a little bit different as what we are doing okay let me copy this string for example let's say I have this hex string okay okay let's say for example you have some sort of key okay and uh, you want to write this key each time okay in the provided address okay and this key might be in different uh, procedures which is calculated you, you know that in the in the second or third we talk about the procedures and functions where we can write different set of instructions uh, we can do some computing and let's say that after the computing this is our final key and this is the key we want to write in our hex table okay so for example okay uh, let's do here so x is equal to zero so for i is equal to the no, this no, hex to double five f okay so 52 we want to write out only one line okay and and this is uh, actually this one one two three four five six seven eight this is eight byte so means i want to write it this string twice okay in one uh, in one line okay so, so do begin and closing so set byte hex edit okay so let's say i is my offset and now I need to provide the value okay so the value from where I want to take it I want to take it this this is the thing which I want to write it 
okay so how i can write it i can do it this way i can say str okay so this is a something new so i put it bracket okay so this is bracket and inside the bracket i said x uh, x what is the value of the axis right now is zero okay so zero plus one so what is that mean what i'm saying i'm saying what what is the value of str str represent this value i'm saying from str give me the first letter so that's x is zero when i add zero plus one it's one so it will return me two here okay but okay but it's still not a byte so what we need to do it we need to put plus and again str then again bracket and no i need to write it x plus two it's very easy just try to understand it what i'm doing it this is called indexing i'm doing indexing i'm saying from this string bring me the first letter so i say x plus zero and here uh, x value of the x is still zero so what i'm doing it i'm saying bring me the second item so which is d okay so no i have this one okay okay uh, but this value is a string okay and we want to write a hex value so what we need to do it we cannot able to write this way this will be give an error what we need to do it as you know that let's say here we always put ff because this represent a hex value as i uh, teach you in uh, earlier lecture okay so what we need to do it we need to plus plus sign we need to create a string here okay so so what uh, so we will get it 2d here and the dollar sign we place with it so this is concatenating the is called con concatenating the string okay this is plus sign is concatenate so we are like jointing this three word together so okay and now the uh, last thing is i want to convert it this one to integer okay so s is already string okay str to integer okay so close the parenthesis uh, okay so this is done and let's do uh, one thing more okay so next statement what i wanted here i wanted if x is equal to 14 so what will happen here so the, the value of the x is right now zero right so what we want to do it when the value of the x reach to 14 then we want then do x set the value of the x again zero okay and uh, else x is equal to x plus 2 this makes sense right so what we want to do it this is 14 characters okay this is a hex uh, string okay so what we do once it's reached to the 14 we want to set it zero so this again start from the two okay so if it's not 14 then what it's continuing to add means the first it will bring to uh, d and when the next start then uh, the value of the x will be 2 so then it will add 1 it will be 3 then it will bring it e so this way once it's reach here then the value of the x 100% is 14 so we will set it again 0 and this will be again started from here i hope this is makes sense okay so again refresh x so as i told you many times before this programming is learned by doing okay there is um, if you are only watching and not doing a practical you will never learn because just do a practical just change the value a little bit and see how it's react 
and okay Th that is the way of learning okay run let's go yeah and uh, i want to tell you one thing also this all the uh, uh, project i always put in the description you can download it because i always provided the link i hope you all know about it okay so uh, let's run the byte done word done and do no for loop okay uh, you see here so if i bring you the so if we go here you see here 2d you see this string is exactly written here two times okay 2d ea again 2d ea okay this is two time written here okay so this is a new thing you learned today if you have your own hex string and then you want to write it you can write it this way hopefully you are practicing these things okay at home and uh, i will see you in the next lecture uh, until uh, bye and take care thank you so much